Hi guys, welcome back to Pi Pro versus YouTube channel where curiosity meets the core. Today we'll be discussing about how to create a dynamic circle animation in Pi game. But before that, we'll be checking the packages pre-installed in my system. So the first command that I'm going to execute in command prompt is PIP list, where you can see all the packages with the versions. So it can give a look about what package is what version and update it accordingly. So you can take a look onto your packages. If not installed, please do install it. You can just Google how to install and there will be a command for that to execute in command prompt. Another command to check for all these is PIP freeze, which gives a similar output where packages with the version will be mentioned. So let's get started with the code starting with importing PyGame. So why is PyGame used? It's like allowing access to its functionality for building games and multimedia applications. And moving on, we have pygame dot init. So this initializes pygame. The function must be called before using any other pygame function. And we have size is equal to 400 comma 400. This sets the size of the pygame window to 400 pixel in width and 400 pixels to height. And we have screen is equal to pygame dot display dot set mode size. This creates a pygame window with the specified size. And we have pygame.display.set caption as circle demo. This is the title of the pygame window to the circle demo. And we have colors, which is 255,0, the RGB colors. This defines a list of colors to use in the circle. Each color is represented as a tuple of RGB values. And we have color index equal to 0. This initiates the index of the current color to use the circle. And we have radius is equal to 50. This sets the initial radius of the circle to be 50 pixels, which is why not done. This starts the main loop, which continues until the done variable becomes true. And we have for event in pygame.event.get. If event.type is equal to is equal to pygame.quick, done is equal to true. This handles the pygame events. If the user clicks the windows close button, it sets done to true, which breaks the loop and exits the program. And we have screen fill 255, 255, 255. This clears the screen by filling it with the white background color. And we have pygame.draw.circle screen comma colors colors index is comma y and radius this draws a circle on the screen with the current color position and the radius and we have a if loop if pi game dot time dot get ticks divided by 5000 modulus 2 is equal to is equal to 0 then color index is equal to color index plus 1 modulus length of colors this changes the color of the circle every 5 seconds by rotating through the colors defined in the colors list and we are incrementing the radius. So radius plus is equal to 1. And the next if loop, which is if radius is greater than minimum size divided by 2, radius is equal to 50. This resets the radius of 250 pixel if it becomes a larger than half of the smaller dimension of the window. And we have pygame.display.flip. This updates the contents of the entire display window to reflect the changes made since the last update and we have clock dot tick 60 seconds this limits the frame rate to 60 per second and using the pygame game clock object and lastly we are having the cleanup part which is pygame dot quit this cleans up the execute pygame game this function should be called at the end of the program to release the resources let's quickly see the output of the program so as usual, I'm going to go copy the .py file name, open the command prompt in the same window, and python space file name .py. 
and you can see the diameter is getting bigger and after it reaches a limit it goes back this loop keeps executing until i close the window thank you so much for watching if you have learned something from this video please do like share and subscribe to our channel thank you